Well, growing up in Croatia is what made me an activist. I grew up in a very small town uh, in Dalmatia. It's very conservative, uh, still very religious kind of. So uh, to grow up there during the war also and to have to come out to myself was a very kind of a long and difficult process. Back in the 90s uh, and 80s when I was growing up, there was no you know, no such thing. So you, you would think that there's, it's not a problem. It's not a problem if it doesn't exist. And it, do, it didn't exist in the media, it didn't exist in politics or in society at large. So you couldn't even come out to yourself because there was no language, there was no kind of code to, to identify yourself with. You know, you don't come out only once. You have to keep coming out and uh, keep coming out in different kind of contexts. I think that the entertainment arena is very potent for this because people don't expect you to be political uh, in in uh, in the field of entertainment, and people don't realize that sexuality is politics. I think visibility for any kind of activism is the the, the, the ultimate thing. You know, when you when you know a person who is gay, be it your neighbor, your cousin, whatever, the climate changes. So law is not the only field that you have to work on. Obviously, it's good to have good laws, but if people would not use these laws because they're afraid what their neighbors will say if they get married, I mean, what's the point? So I think, uh, uh, you know, outing uh, 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 in, in en masse is, is uh, one of the most potent strategies, I think, and I, I think it is changing, only too slowly, if you, if you ask me. Basically, you know, I said uh, something like, uh, he said, oh, you, you live with uh, your female partner. I said, yeah, I live with my girlfriend. And he said, what's her name? And so he was personalizing it even, even further, asking for her name, which he didn't have to. And he was behaving very friendly. And we both knew, both him, him and me, that it's totally abnormal. And I did this in a very kind of nonchalant manner. And he treated it as a very nonchalant, uh, nonchalant kind of fact. And that was the ultimate the ultimate goal for me, to for this to be treated as something, you know, most normal. And uh, my father went on the show with me, which was a, also a big, big deal, because in Croatia, you know, the stigma on the, on the parent of a gay person is just as bad, maybe even worse. They're, they're afraid of you. In Croatia, basically, I mean, homophobia comes from, from the lack of knowledge and comes from this uh, space of, of, of silence. So you have to break the silence, but you break it with laughter rather than with, with an axe. The most important thing is just to have your own uh, sense of integrity and not to, to be dependent on what other people think about you and your pa parents and your family and society and uh, just go str grow strong.